Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at FutureWorks with Chris West from MD. Now, I knew MD as a uh, technology company that basically looks after machine control, training and things like that. But, Chris, you've launched a new sort of solutions division, which you're heading up and invested a little bit of money in some new kit. This drone here is not inexpensive, Chris. What is the solutions uh, piece all about? So our solutions pack is, as Pete said, we use the M300 RTK to fly mapping missions to create uh, point cloud data of um, construction sites and then we can tie that point cloud data into um, the smart construction dashboard which then our customers can do cut fill analysis and uh, cross-sectional views and other things like that. That's so what's really exciting about that is, you know, a lot of people are looking at taking on machine control, for example, which needs 3D models, mm -hmm. um, but they're not necessarily enabled and can afford this kind of equipment yeah. to just lie around until the next job. So you're able to, to provide that solution, create the models that are actually fit for purpose. That's really important, isn't it? So yeah, there's uh, numerous stages of the process. So initially we can take the drone, fly it over the, the, the site before anything happens, and then we can take the design data put it into the dashboard and see how it, you know, the, the, the cut and fill volume will come out of there. But again, that design data is being then used by the, the machinery as well. And also, once you look at design data, what you can do, and you're really clever about it, is actually say, well, the cut and fills can change slightly on site. That means we're not removing earth or we're, yeah. we're digging less. So you can actually engineer the site to be better and, and to use less fuel and to use less movement. Yeah, again, it, with the, the smart construction um, solutions that we can get through smart construction Komatsu, uh, there's other numerous... Um, software packages like SE Fleet, so we can really optimise the site and see how all that material is being moved around and efficiently as possible. So really, it's another added service which actually starts the journey to machine control for people that might not be able to afford it or don't actually want to take on board uh, you know, more staff to do this. So for me, this is really impactful when you can look at having a technology provider that also can provide and service your machine control and also train some of your operators and also it's got a really, really big drone that can do all the exciting <laughs> stuff from way on high. Thanks very much, Chris. No, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.